hello friends and welcome to all of you in my youtube channel today i teach you the stagnation of indian economy <coughs> so let's start the discussion stagnation of the indian economy at the time of independence the indian economy was in very bad shape it was going through a period of stagnation characterized not only by poverty but also by one of the lowest level of per capita income and growth which was approximately 0.5 percent per annum due to the long spell of colonialism the same feelings were echoed in the first five years plan documentation this was primarily because of the basic condition under which an economy continuously expanded were lacking the impact of modern industrialism later half in the 19th century was felt in this country initially through the import of magnet of machine goods and from abroad which is reacted adversely on the traditional pattern on economic life these also did not create the impulse for development along new lines the transition that follow was characterized by expansion of the industry and diversification of the economic structure but by the decay of the india's traditional art craft and industries by an increasing pressure of the population of land this retrogression led to decline the productivity per person engaged in the agriculture the result was continuous increase in unemployment and underemployment and the growth of an attitude of pathetic contentment on the part of the people in such an environment there could be little economic or social progress whatever surplus might be available in the colonial era were direct towards and purchase the import and partially a better finished products from the abroad and partially of equipment for the new transition and transportation system designed primary in the interest of the foreign commerce the responsibility for promoting the mode commerce and industry came concern in the hand of the certain classes in the urban areas and up to the end of 19th century only major large scale industries which had not taken root in the country were textiles a little attention was paid to improvement of agriculture or to the needs of the rural area the indian economy was going through the period of stagnation at the time of independence post independence phase of development with the attainment of the independence india chose to follow the path of planned social and economic development for which planning commission was set up on 15 march 1950 under the chairmanship of pandit jawaharlal nehru the first prime minister of india since then prime minister of india has been ex officio chairman of the planning commission having going through the background of the indian economy we can now analyze the main aim of the objective of the various five year plan of development first plan 1951 to 56 second plan 1956 to 1961 third plan 1961 to 1966 annual plans 1966 to 1969 fourth plan 1969 to 1974 fifth plan 1974 to 1979 sixth plan 1980 to 1985 seventh plan 1985 to 1990 eighth plan 1992 to 1997 ninth plan 1997 to 2002 tenth plan 2002 to 2007 Thank you friends in the next video i will discuss the every plan if you like my video like it and share it thank you